Hello again everybody. I have two beauties here in bloom and um, I've decided to do them both in one video because how I care for them here in my Mediterranean climate it's exactly the same. The only difference being that on the left is Dendrobium tortile which is biannually deciduous and the Dendrobium of Philum on the right loses its leaves at the end of every season during the winter. Other than that, I care for them exactly the same, so I just thought while they are doing their beautiful show and their spectacle, they make a great pair and let's have a look and maybe I can give you some tips with regards to how I take care of them. Maybe there's some controversy. We'll figure it out. Let me know in the comments below. So on the left here is Dendrobium tortile now in full bloom. And as you can see, the spikes that are coming from the canes are from two years ago. So the growths blooming are two-year-old canes and you can see that they are actually not even deciduous yet. Bit by bit, some of the leaves are falling off. But you can see last year's growths are still in full leaf and they don't drop their leaves during the winter. So these new growths will be the ones that will bloom next year. And the new flush of new growths has already begun, which will bloom in 2022. So as you can see, I have them mounted, both of them. However, I do intend to change the tortilla one. I want to put that into a pot because both of them live outside for me. My temperatures do not drop lower than five degrees Celsius in the winter. So I have no problem potting up the tortilla, even though it's a big plant, because I have no problem with real estate outside in the winter. So that's what I'm gonna do with this one because also it keeps growing this companion plant, which is a bit of a nuisance. <gasps> and I think maybe it would also do better in a pot. It's doing well now, but you know, in the summer, the heat of the summer, I have to spray it two or three times a day and sometimes that is not feasible and I don't want to diminish the growth potential while the new growths are pushing out. And next here is the Aphyllum, which is also mounted and also has new growths pushing out already. And it does create some keikis, which I then stick back up, as you can see on the top here, I stick them back up on the mount. So these Aphyllum dendrobiums are actually annually deciduous. The canes will grow and grow and grow throughout the season, eventually stop, and then in the winter start dumping their leaves. And these canes that you see blooming now are the ones that grew in the season of 2019. So what you grow in your growing season is what will bloom in the next season. That's the only difference between the two of them. Otherwise, I'm doing exactly the same. I am fertilizing them the same. I use 300 ppm of fertilizer during the summer because I really want to have nice, long, strong, healthy canes. So they are getting full fertilizer from Jump Street. In the winter, I have also heard and others will grow them in such a way that they do not water them during the winter because they are considered resting types. However, I do not do that. I give them, if they're not growing anymore and obviously not flowering, what I consider a rest in my climate is just RO water. Sometimes I add a bit of seaweed. I don't know why I do that, but as I have a big collection with others that do need seaweed, they just get that dose as well, a bit of seaweed every once in a while. 
So I don't truly rest mine in a sense that I'm letting them dry out for months on end. I don't know if that makes a difference, but just in case, I wanted to point that out because I know and I'm aware that these winter resters normally just get nothing for at least two to three months until the blooms start pushing out. So that's the only thing I do different. I absolutely adore them. They're so easy to care for and they're fun to watch when they grow because they grow fast. And that is very rare in the orchid hobby to have something growing fast. <laughs> so these are a joy to watch. I have um, some old canes blooming this year, but not many. This is all last year's growth. The aphyllum has now developed a slight fragrance. It's op been open now five days. It's a very, very slight fragrance. I would say just your typical floral fragrance. I can't specifically pin it on something um, that would make sense. You know, you go into a flower shop, that kind of fragrance. It's very mild, but it is there. You can tell when I water it, I can smell it. The tortilli has no fragrance whatsoever. And I just love these curly whirly petals and sepals with that big trumpet like throat. So beautiful, whimsical and delicate. And they do look very, very, very similar. Color wise, the aphyllum also has that big lip, but I do enjoy also the striation inside the throat. You can see the veining in there. If the wind is not going to help me out, I'm just gonna step back because the distortions could get pretty bad. So my summers do get to about 30 plus degrees Celsius and they are very, very dry. And because of the growth habit of the aphyllum, I will not be potting this one up. Simply because when it does keikis, it makes it a bit more difficult to keep putting them back in the pot. So when I take tortille off the mount, I will make a video about it and then we will document its progress. I hope you enjoyed this video. A quick look at some beautiful whimsical flowers. Not very long lasting, but definitely, definitely worth having in any collection. Thank you so much for watching. Any questions? Ask away in the comments. I'll be more than happy to help. Take care. Bye.